right, so here we go. The goal was to implement a suggester of type completion so that we can have that search as you type functionality or autocomplete. We have our query here, right? So this is going to implement the suggester that we define. But here, if we sort of scroll down memory lane, so we have our mapping for Christmas gift inventory. And then we also can check our mapping to see how it's defined. And so those are all the parameters that our suggester could use. And then we have our documents. So document one through four, and these are just names of video games that I decided to go with to test out our suggester. And then you can take a look here and see. So we have Minecraft, Mario, Minesweeper, Mini Vader. I decided to just go with video games starting with the letter M. If you wanted to try this on your own, you can use whatever type of data that you would like. All right, and so getting back to our query, we're gonna call it video game suggest. So we're gonna use MIN. The prefix is sort of a way to replicate that idea of a user typing into the search bar. And let's say they type MIN and you want to be able to suggest words or what they're possibly looking for as they're typing this out. And so if we were to use MIN and run this query, let's see here. All right, so here we get Minecraft. So it shows us the document, it shows us the full document and both words contained within that document are within that suggest. And then it gives us the actual suggestion. So based on the prefix MIN, it says, okay, well, Minecraft begins with MIN and it will make the most sense. And obviously we have Mario here, but it doesn't begin with MIN. And so it's not gonna suggest that. And you may ask the question, well, what if, you know, you have Minecraft and then you have something else that also starts with MIN, which one will it give back? And that's why we have weights, right? So the weight is going to determine the ranking of the document. So the higher the weight, the higher the ranking. And so even if you have two words, that both begin with MIN, it's the one that has the highest ranking that's going to be suggested. And so for instance, I actually added that in here. So we have Minesweeper and then we have Mini Vader. And you can see that here that Minesweeper is what's suggested even though they both begin with the letters MIN, okay? You can kind of see how the ranking or how the weight parameter is used in that case. Now, another thing I wanna point out is that we have two documents that both have Minesweeper as input, okay? And it gives back both of them. Let's say you didn't want to receive any duplicates. You also can use a parameter that's called skip duplicates with your suggester and it'll take away any duplicate suggestion that you may get. So let's add that in and see whether or not it makes a difference. All right, and we're gonna set that to true. By default, it's set to false, but by setting it to true and we use the same input, all right, so we get Minecraft. We know we're gonna get that. We get Minesweeper, Mini Vader. Okay, so as you can see, we don't get that other suggestion, right? And so this shows you that skip duplicates. By using that, it gets rid of any duplicates. Another thing that you can use within this query, you can use fuzziness. So let's say, Let's say we were looking, indeed looking for Minecraft or you know something beginning with M-I-N, but instead of M-I-N, we put M-A-N. Okay, so it, there's a typo. And let's say we run the query. Well, we're not getting back any results, okay? So let's say we still wanna get back results, right? Because if you have a user and they're typing in a name or video game, I guess then if we're following with the theme of this post, then you have an elf that's looking for a video game for a child. And so they misspell, you know, a word, right? And so they put M-A-N. And so they use fuzziness to be able to fix that issue. Then we can still see the results that we we're actually looking for. So let's add in fuzziness. All right, and a typical parameter to use with fuzziness is auto. And this just allows for the edit distance to be calculated based on the length of the term. There are rules associated with fuzziness. You can check them out through the documentation. And so it can be this the subtle difference between, let's say we were looking to spell the word hello, but instead of hello, we spelled hello. <laughs> well, then it can be able to determine what word we were trying to say, and then it will make the swaps as necessary, and then use that term to then search for what we were looking for. So fuzziness is pretty cool in that. And let's see now, do we get back results? All right, awesome, so we get back results. So, so our text, initial text was M-A-N. Using fuzziness, it was able to make a suggestion because it said, hey, you know, the only word that's, the only letter that's missing in this is the A, it has I instead of the A. Maybe this is what you were looking for because we don't contain any other sort of names or input that has M-A-N. So either we're not gonna get back anything, but because fuzziness is used, then we can make that connection that, okay, the user must have meant M-I-N. So fuzziness is helpful in that. All right, and so I would highly recommend checking out 
out our documentation. If you wanted to see other ways we can run queries using a completion suggester and hopefully this was helpful.